Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here today with the Falker Wolf 190, the A8 variant. The FW 190 was a major part of the backbone of the German Air Force during the Second World War, second only to the dreaded BF 109. The FW 190 had greater firepower than the BF 109 and at low to medium altitudes had superior maneuverability. At least that's the opinion of the German pilots who flew both aircraft. The FW-190 was a force to be reckoned with, and it was widely accepted as one of the best fighters of the Second World War. Let's jump into this deadly bird and see what we can do here today in IL-2 Sturmovik with the Pimax 8KX Virtual Reality Headset. So basically I took off with a bunch of bombs this time and we are over Allied Occupied France as they push in via D-Day. Gonna look for targets of opportunity here, and there's reports of possible artillery, allied artillery in this area. So I would like to drop some bombs on them. And of course there's allied fighters as well, so we do have to be careful. Unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to dogfight anybody with uh, these bombs on me. Uh, I have a... I think 250 pound bomb and a bunch of 70 pound bombs, four 70 pounders. So basically four small bombs, one big bomb. And uh, I don't know, I'm kind of curious to see if I can hit anything with it. The artillery positions should be right in front of us any second now. Uh, so I'm going to head over in that direction and see what I can find. I also see some little specks off in the distance, which looks to me like fighters there's one diving down here we're just just got out of his the way of his nose there uh, that was a p51 that just went by I'm not gonna be able to dogfight him because uh, I'm too heavy with the bombs but I see tail is cleared <laughs> I thought maybe he came back around I see this artillery here I'm gonna try to drop on him you see this artillery position right here if I can get this bomb drop just right pickle and ew nice right on top of his head <laughs> all right all right that was fun <laughs> sucks for him all right i found this p51 who seems like he's not paying attention here See if I can get up right behind him and ooh, dude got lit up. That's why you gotta check six, man. Oh yeah, yeah, he's not doing so good. <laughs> All right, I see an allied convoy here, possible trucks right here, full of troops. And we'll drop a bomb on him. Pickle, one of the small 70 pounders. Oh, it hit right behind him. It's hard with those little bombs. Uh, we'll come back around. I see an armored vehicle right in the front of the convoy here. If we can get him, that would be great. There he goes. All right. Man, those 20 mils, they, uh, they do a number on just about everything. <laughs> This guy was fighting another 109, and I kind of managed to slot in behind him here. And, yeah, he just got smoked by 20 mil. Trying to stay with him here, and he's lost control. Pilot's maybe dead, maybe very wounded. But that aircraft is done flying. Yeah, 20 mils are no joke. Let me see if I can drop two of these 70 pound bombs on top of these two, I think, artillery positions. If I can time it just right. Pickle, pickle. 
And we'll look. Oh, oh, one looks like it might have maybe hurt somebody's ears at least. <laughs> Blew out somebody's eardrums. That's about it though. <laughs> Diving down here on some B-25s. Supposedly the 190 is supposed to be devastating against bombers. Take out the lead aircraft. Absolutely filled him up with lead there. And he is on fire and going down. It's got to be bad for morale to see your lead aircraft just shot up like that. And just fly in there knowing that, you know, you might be next when whatever that was comes circling back around. Alright, look at this. I've gotten close to an allied base and there's an aircraft right in front of me who's trying to land. I think it's a P-51. And he's trying to land. He's super slow. He's on final. And I'm gonna just see if I can grab this kill. A real cheeky kill here if we can get him. Oh, he's going evasive. Does he see me? Oh, I think he sees me. Oh, he dodged my... <laughs> he dodged it and slammed himself into the ground, but he's gonna live. And I gotta get out of here before the air defenses open up on me. We gotta dive back down. Congratulations to that guy. He survived. Wow. Nice flying. Alright, I got another P-51 here. And he just got hit by 20 mil right there. And there's some more hits. And he's not even trying to jink anymore. He, he might actually be dead. <laughs> I'm still just lighting him up. Yeah, I think this guy's dead. I think that the first 20 mils that hit him killed him. Yeah, well, if he wasn't dead, he's dead now. Unfortunately for him, he didn't get as lucky as the guy who was trying to land and got away. Let me send this volley at this B-25 here. Oh, whoa! The whole thing just exploded. Oh my god. I don't think anybody survived that. I've managed to find a wounded P-38. I really want a P-38 kill. He's going to try to climb away, and he actually can climb away with me, so I'm really hoping I can hit him with some of this 20 mil. There we go. A couple of good hits. Bring him back down. Hit his other engine, and fire. Beautiful. All right. Nice, juicy P-38 kill. And unfortunately, it seems like the pilot's dead on that. There's uh, no attempt to get out of that burning mess. Alright, another B-25 here. like to line him up. This is, I think, the last guy in the formation. Maybe there's one more. Oh, wow. Dude, 
but it just it explodes everybody <laughs> 20 mil there's another b25 off in the distance there that's the last guy in the formation and i feel bad for him because no one's gonna make it home to talk about what happened to this bomber formation they got absolutely shredded a couple of very accurate long distance hits there and that thing is done flying it looks like two guys got thrown out of the aircraft <laughs> with that little upwards maneuver that it did luckily they had parachutes i guess <laughs> it literally looked like the aircraft's nose pitched up and like two guys came flying out of it We're back home. Just gotta go ahead and put this thing down without getting myself killed now. Alright guys, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the FW190 content. I know many of you were commenting in the comment section that you wanted to see some of that. So I hope uh, I hope you're happy. I hope you guys are enjoying the World War II content. If you want to see more World War II stuff, go ahead and sound off in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. Alright guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.